what's good everybody welcome to season two of car rant really really excited we have a lot of great stuff planned for this season and i need my sunglasses bear with me a little bit of movie magic right here by the way if my shifting is really off it's because i have a new clutch put in and a new shifter put in and i'm still getting used to it because i just got it today and i am just so thankful and grateful to god that this new setup is in this car because man the shifting is just oh nice beautiful but like i was saying we're really excited that it's season two and that we have the opportunity to do stuff in a literal new season uh, not just because it's season two but because season of fall and winter is upon us you know november is literally like right around the corner literally it's only a couple days from now with that in mind you know there's there's stuff that we can do in the fall that we really can't do at any other time of year and you know there's just something about it I just it's really hard to describe what it is about the fall time that we love so much you know thinking about this let's just let's talk about this let's talk about this Fall time. There's just something about it, you know. Kids go back to school, people get back to a regular daily grind kind of schedule, and things seem to go back to a quote unquote normal existence. But there's something about it that just intrigues us. Could it be the changing colors, the crickets starting to chirp in the silence? Or could it be the other things about it? leaves on the ground. What is it about this time of year that intrigues us so much? What is it that makes us love the fall so much? <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Air smells back. We're good. It's like when you walk into a conversation. Yeah, it's like And you're like so trying to get into the conversation. Like, all right. Yeah, yeah about that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about things we love and hate about fall. Let's go to the Lansdowne. Right? Wanna go to Lansdowne? Yeah. Let's go to Lansdowne. Anyway, so let's start with things we love about fall. It's been a couple weeks in now, right? Since the fall solstice or whatever you call it has. Sort of, kind of. And the leaves have definitely started changing. I don't know Still if you'll shirtless runners, though. Still, yeah. <laughs> What's something that you love about fall? Um, like an indicator. The temperature. The temperature? The temperature drop, yeah. What I'm a baby love? when it comes to the heat, so. <laughs> and, uh, and humidity, so. Yeah. The temperature heard, drop is yeah. awesome. It's much better for the cars, too. You're breathing all that cold air. Whether you have a cold air intake or not, man. There's just a noticeable difference. Feels good, bro. Feels great. <laughs> One thing I love, I grew up in New England for most of my, like, memorable mm -hmm. years. Formative years, as they call them. And, uh, for me, I, I, the society, I guess, I don't know. Don't, just let, don't let society get you down, man. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, you know, one thing for me is definitely the changing colors. I lived in the middle of nowhere. You're racist, bro. I, I, what? <laughs> anyhow, <laughs> can't talk and change lanes. Yeah, I can't. I gotta think about it, especially with a giant truck. I gotta think about this stuff. But uh, no, I just I love the changing colors because it's the changing of seasons for me. 
that I just I love and appreciate. You know, you talk about the cold. I just love the leaves. Because where I live, man, it was just such a beautiful scenery. Like, I'm a scenery guy, I won't lie. So places that I think are great places to drive often involve, like, lots of scenery, you know? Lots of just middle of nowhere, you know, mountains and whatnot. Like, this past weekend, you guys celebrated, um, what was it, Genevieve's birthday? Yeah. Dude, that was a beautiful drive. <laughs> I mean, it's like way out there, but oh man, I just, I love the scenery. So when I get to see all these beautiful colors come out, it's just, it's a very happy time. So I'm constantly fixing this camera because I can't remember where the good angle is. Anyhow, I just love the idea of approaching holidays. You know? Oh. <laughs> so not just, I love holidays, but I, I think almost as exciting as like Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff is the idea of Thanksgiving and Christmas, you know what I mean, just, yeah, people, Dude, yeah. It, it just seems like people, like, you know, if you're a little more, more apt to be kind to people, and, yeah, there's a new spirit that comes over people in the holidays, I can definitely concur with that, I mean, um, it's, it's I, I guess I would say another thing would be, <clears throat> I love, I love wearing layers, so, yeah. <laughs> in San Francisco, we don't really have summer per se or winter. It's just like always mild, and we get like a lot perpetual of, spring. We got a lot of fog and stuff. So, majority of my wardrobe is like jackets and shirts, like long sleeve shirts and hoodies and yeah. stuff like that, and zip ups and sweaters and stuff. So, I have a lot of that, and it's just nice to start busting it out again. And <laughs> yeah, that's true. Stuff like that. I'm in the same boat. I love my sweaters as I'm wearing one right now. And I need to go back to the store and buy some more. Because, you know, a little thing called weight gain. Anyhow, <laughs> we'll leave that alone. Yeah, no, I love wearing uh, flannel. There's something about flannel in the fall. You know, there's, again, I know I'm a slight romantic. That's, that's, that's not a disputed fact. And there's just something about flannel in the fall. It's just, yes, Hallmark Channel. That's what it feels like. <laughs> There's one other thing I must say I love about the fall. Family. There's so many great family activities that you can do in the fall. We're going to a corn maze later today. You know, like that's prime example. You know, going, going apple picking or, or uh, going to the pumpkin patch to find a pumpkin for your doorstep or whatever. Pumpkin pie. Like there's so many things associated with family that take place in the fall. Like, sure, you've got great events like, uh, you know, Fourth of July in the summertime or Easter and Christmas and all that, but there's something about, like, Thanksgiving where the whole family gets together. Like, in my house, you know, Thanksgiving is not often celebrated with uh, everyone there, or Christmas, rather, is not often celebrated with everybody there, but Thanksgiving, everybody's in one house, and we're all eating turkey, ham and bogogi because <laughs> yeah. of my, my Asian step family <laughs> mm -hmm. you know which is fun for me because I love that food anyway yeah. but yeah definitely definitely the family aspect of the fall is just something to be said anything else what else do you um, I would say like you know those like those nights where it's like it's chilly you know but it's like still a nice warm day. enough to like have like a bonfire or something. Oh yeah. Um, so like, you know, sitting on your porch and like drinking coffee, I guess, or something. And watching like, those sunsets at five in the afternoon. Yeah, I guess, you know. Basically just that, I like I like bonfires, you know, like just like sitting around and talking and, and uh, you know, chill just whatever it is. So it's like summer, like, you know, you can do those too, but it's like, I don't know, there's just something different about the temperature being cooler and like, this idea, you know, crunchy leaves on the ground and stuff. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was about to say bonfires is definitely something I love. Because you can start them earlier too. Like, have you ever noticed when you try to do a bonfire in the summertime, it's at like 9 o'clock at night. You're already half asleep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now, you can do them at 6 in the afternoon, you know, and enjoy it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you know, it's just that uh, I can actually sit back and relax with this, you know. I gotta ask though, would s'mores be considered a summertime thing or a fall thing? 
Or both. S'mores are an open flame thing. An <laughs> open flame thing. So you're that guy who has like a fire. I'm the guy that made s'mores <laughs> over my stove. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so prejudiced to oh. when s'mores should be made because they should be made all the time. You hear that, Starbucks? We want our s'mores frappuccinos back. Well, this guy does. Sugar, sugar milk drink. Hey, man. See, I'm the guy though that caffeine doesn't really affect much, so I have to have that huge sugar boost in order to wake up. Which you know is all fun, and fun and games until someone gets diabetic. But uh, <laughs> that and one of our youth. Abdul, he's been on the show last season. Uh, he loved that thing with a passion, and it took another friend of ours, Vernon McLean, to show him that there are other drinks at Starbucks that have a similar effect. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically, I think it was like a Java chip mocha with like a bunch of extra sugar. Yeah. And in his case, a puppuccino. Yeah. He loves his uh, loves his whipped cream for some reason. Now let's let's talk about something very important. Things we hate about the fall. Um, it's the end of summer. It's the end of summer. Yeah. Yeah. No more going to the beach school anymore. School kicks up again. Everyone kind of gets back in the zone again. So you know that less less, less hanging out. You less know, shuttle, less uh, yeah. more more structure and you know people get kind of uptight again. <laughs> trying, to get in the, trying to get in the groove, you know, and stuff, so, yeah, it's just summer. Do it. There's one thing I hate about the fall, because it just overtakes and overwhelms social media every single time. Pumpkin spice lattes. They're nasty. Have you had one? Yes. Oh, God. What did you think? I don't mind them. Oh, no, dude. First, I think, honestly, honestly people spice. that say they hate pumpkin spice lattes, I think it's more of they dislike the idea of pumpkin size lattes. What do you mean? Because it's like, for you, for instance, it's you just it's mainstream. Yeah. So you're true. like, oh, <laughs> all these girls and stuff post about pumpkin spice lattes, and I can't wait and blah blah. Hashtag sweater weather. Hey, I like. Like it's weather. just, <laughs> it's like people don't like the idea of like because everybody else likes yeah. pumpkin spice lattes because they're not that bad. Like, they don't, like, it's not overwhelmingly pumpkin, it's, you know, it's, it's coffee. Like, it's putting pumpkin pie into a coffee. No, no. Well, I mean, that's kind of hypocritical. Because right. you're Mr. S'mores drink, and that's marshmallow, chocolate, and milk and ice with coffee. That's a perversion of coffee. That's with like whipped a mocha. cream. Well, that is not like a mocha. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> See? But you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, I S'mores to you is pumpkin spice to somebody else. All right, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. All right, because I'm sure there's somebody somewhere that's like, I hate s'mores, whatever, whatever, because it's dumb and it's just like sugar water. <laughs> sugar water. I feel like you've said that it's sugar water. I have. <laughs> but I, I drink them. Like, I drink them, I get them, you know what I mean? Okay. All I'm saying is if you live in a glass house, don't throw stones. Okay, alright. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm not a fan. But I, I do understand what you're saying about the hype. Yeah. People are like, rave about they're like the most amazing thing ever. I wouldn't say that, but I wouldn't say like, I hate more. But see, here's the thing, is like once winter comes in, guess what everyone's going to start ordering? Yeah, I'll take a peppermint mocha. Those are actually good. They are really good, but then there's that hype that just kind of kills Of course. Well, I mean, Starbucks is hype in its very nature. So that is true. Hashtag why your lives. Honestly, <laughs> like, Starbucks is just like dirty water. I, mean, I, I personally don't like their coffee. Except to drink their No, no, this is layer cake patisserie right here. Yes, sir. And then that was layer cake from like a couple days. No, that's Pete's. That's from when we got Pete's a couple days ago. I need to play my car. What else do we hate about the fall? Um, or are there anything anything else that we hate about the fall? Probably having to prep your car for the winter. Oh, winterizing? Yeah, that sucks. All the money. Not necessarily doing it, but the money. Yeah, so. The cost. And I, is it actually I, I guess worth it's it? more annoying to me because we don't have to do that in California. Where you live in California. Here you have to make sure you have your scraper and your chains or 
your winter tires. I guess what's in my Strong truck. battery and many freeze and stuff. all that joy. And then you gotta start your car in the morning, let it warm up. Otherwise, it's just like laggy. So. Yeah. One thing that's nice about my car, I, I just gotta prop up this car for a second. When it comes to the heat, this thing absorbs it like a sponge. So like when the sun beats on on this car for any length of time, whether it's cold or hot outside, it's nice and toasty in here. So like some people I know they'll go and start the car early to make sure that this is warm, not that the engine is warm, but that mm -hmm. the interior of the car is warm enough for them to actually like sit mm -hmm. and enjoy themselves driving. No, I don't have that problem with this car. Next car I'm gonna get, I wanted to have the the engine warmer. So oh, gotcha. I just plug it in my garage. Just, <laughs> just to get things toasted over. Yeah, no, I'll just plug it in. I'll leave it in all night, you know, so the block stays warm. So more need to start it, and it's it already just, at running temp. And it just kicks over. Just and kidding, because I didn't even know that type of stuff existed. I'm not disciplined enough to wake up and make sure. No, it's not that. I don't like going outside in my pajamas <laughs> while it's like 20 degrees to start my car. <laughs> So I'm like I'll I'm, I'll be awake and inside the house, but I don't like getting up and going outside without like being ready to go outside. Cause it's a shock to the system, man. See, that's the one thing that for us as people who don't have remote start, that's the one thing that sucks for us. Is we have to what go if out. I get a new truck. Well, it's got the block warmer and remote start. <laughs> so I can plug it in and just from my room start. No, they actually have it with the phone. Do they really? Just open the app on the phone and start the track. Technology is amazing. All right, well, from here out, we're going to show off some things that we do in the fall. Roll film. Let's <laughs> get to the leaves or something. So, I'm actually running late. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I promise you, Mr. John, I'm not cheating on you. I just got to see what else is out there. Honda Beat in America. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these ever. Look at this thing, man. It's so small. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and then Subi. Yeah, this is an S2K. This is nicely built. It's, it's really, really low. Ooh, those are nice. I don't know about carbon fiber, I think they're just blacked out. He's got a hard top. That's new. Oh, he's talking about the wing. Oh, and with the size of that exhaust, it looks like he actually needs it. drive on the safe side of the road as we do. Man, this is nice. Yeah. <laughs> I love the I love the God Save the Queen bear in there. <laughs> That's awesome. And he even has a handicap tax we can park here. Nice. This is back when cars were built around a frame. Yes. Yeah. Like that. That's that's what I'm talking about. Out with the Men of the church today. Yeah. You excited for this? I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Can't wait. Because <laughs> you it. showed up and you're like, oh, hold on. Hold on. Am I at the right place? <laughs> it's this, awesome. The, the, Cars are. Uh, this prob kind. That's this is probably a good billion dollars of car is worth here. Pretty much, yeah. Because when you have something like this and that, well, that right there is already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so much money on the lot right now. Exactly. This is why nobody cares. We just pull up, pull up yeah. and show up. That's how it is. Who's out here admiring this kind of prelude? And uh, I noticed a sticker in the back of this car. Looks familiar. I feel like I know that brand. See what you will about Honda, but that is a noise setup. Good lord. 
this is for you, Ishmael, since you haven't shown up yet. Mister, oh, I'll be there, and then he never keeps bothering to get out of bed. Where you be? Woo! And it's an Uber. <laughs> this is another version of Ishmael's favorite. This is a 180. This is nice. This is... Nah, no, competition. No, can't have you, no. But this, yeah. The engine, from what I heard, because there's a guy who comes to this a lot, underneath that is a K-swapped uh, K engine, which means it's not a BMW engine, which is why it sounds a little bit different, but that thing is cool. What is that? <laughs> Hold on, the train's coming through. <laughs> It's the perfect setting out here at the Meadow Kirk in Middleburg, Virginia. And just look at that view. Absolutely stunning out here. And it's all like perfect dirt rally roads. Right there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's like chewing it up. See that? Representation. Heck yeah. And there's more of these for all y'all that end up on the show. You'll get one. Yay. So aside from 7-Eleven, where's your next, bro? I feel comfortable with sharing that on the internet. Oh. <laughs> there you go to 7-Eleven? Huh? There you go to 7-Eleven. <laughs> then I put closets for the internet. Well... Nah, that's not a secret. <laughs> hey, you know. <laughs> Reasoning, 
uh, really plays well in their favor because they've got everything from good old school hunting rifles to done, you know, little fun 22 pop guns, you know, um, a nice selection of target pistols. Like, there's all kinds of good stuff back there. So, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend going to see them. Uh, just great people. And yeah, I've got a I remember walking into the store seeing that going, man, that thing is cool. And then I looked down and saw the price tag and went, wow, that thing's really cool. I can actually afford this right now. You know, so, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of nice to just sit there, walk in, and see a gun I like. The type of gun that I like specifically. At a price that I like, you know, it just kind of all staggered together and worked out in my favor. Uh, which is awesome. You know, it doesn't often happen what it does. It's a very happy day. But all that said, this season premiere must come to a close. And uh, while filming and doing all the work for this this particular episode has been lots of fun. As uh, it was supposedly said by Shakespeare, parting is such sweet sorrow. He must end this episode, this epic 30 minute special. Uh, and come up with new ideas for new shows, guys. You got any suggestions at all? You let us know. You know we have programming in mind for a number of different episodes, but some of them can't happen until it snows. So fingers crossed on that. But in the meantime, we want to hear from you guys. We want to know what you guys thought of this episode. We want to see what you guys uh, have in mind for us to do as like follow specials and whatnot, and uh, what your just general thoughts are. Tell us how you're doing. Tag you know, tag where you are. We would love to hear about places that you guys love to go drive at or visit or just think are cool places to go because that's what we love to do ourselves is going to cool places. So I'm about to hit rush hour traffic and it's going to get interesting. That said, signing off for this episode of Car Ramp. It's great to be back. Great to be back. Oh, it's a